Okay guys, we are back with another video. Today we are making taco pie. This is a play on regular tacos, but it's in a pie form. Also another easy delicious meal. Okay you guys, before we get started, can you please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell down below to be notified when I post new videos. Trying to get these videos out to you guys. But taco pie is, of course it's good, but it's fun. It's different, you know? So let's get into the video. First, we are starting with a pound of ground beef. This is 92.8 ground beef. And if you guys do not know what that means, it's 90% meat, 92% meat, and 8% fats. And I typically use this, uh, and I meant to uh, keep the package so you guys can see what type of ground beef it is. But the next time I used it, I would definitely save it so I can show you guys. But these are all the ingredients that we need for our taco pie. We need some Pam to spray the um, pie pan, got some cheese, green chilies, sour cream, crescent rolls. Crescent rolls for the crust. Do not try to get that Pillsbury um, baker's dough or whatever. It's not the same. Trust me, I tried it. Onions. Now, this is a lot of onions, but we love onions. So this is a whole medium white onion so if you want to just do half of that then you could just do half one pack of taco seasoning and some cilantro dry cilantro sprinkle on top of that so we're going to get in put these onions into the ground beef get that stuff cooked down working with one hand is not the easiest thing in the world i need to buy a tripod okay also to the mix we're going to add and I got the Kroger's brand. It was on sale. I guess it was cheaper than the other brand. But anyway, add that to the mixture. The whole can. So we have a whole onion, one can of green chilies, one pound of ground beef to the mixture. So we're going to get this mixed up and we'll be right back to show you the next. Okay, guys. While we have the ground beef on the stove, browning up, doing this thing, we're going to um, do the pie crust because I forgot that has to go into the oven to cook halfway. So you want to spray your pie pan. And this is, I don't know what size this pie pan is, but it's just a glass Pyrex pie pan. And you're going to use, now you can use the buttery, crescent rolls, flaky, whatever. This is just what my husband grabbed. So... That's what we're going to use. And you know, I should have did this. Eh. You know, it's, ah, got it. Okay, you guys, I'm putting gloves on because I don't like to touch it. I don't like to touch the dough. Do you know? But you want to lay the crescent rolls out to form the pie crust. And let me tell you, do not, like I said, I forgot what they call this, the pie, pie crust. I get pie crust. But, um, no. Don't bite. You want to use this. And you want to form this like the pie crust. And... When you see it rip like that, that's fine. Pinch it together. Pinch it close. But let's place that right there. Now this takes some working. You had to work with it. Because you had to pinch and close and spread and fill each orifice of the pie pan. But like I said, where um, the dotted lines is to separate the crescent rolls, pinch, pinch. Use your fingers. 
That's why I got the glove on. Because I didn't want to get my hands all. And it's not even messy because it's easy. Um, I mean, you can easily wash your hands. It just feels weird. I am a textural type person. So if textures don't feel right to me, I don't like it. Call me a weirdo. Okay. So you see that has the pan halfway filled. So you would want, like literally guys, you have to play with this to get it. But once you see when I'm finished, you're like, oh wow. <laughs> you just said, and you have to break pieces apart to physically, it's like a puzzle. Literally, it's like a puzzle, it's weird. See like this part is too long, so I will take that part off and then make the top of the crust. Blend it with that part. Pull it down. You see, guys? It seemed like a lot, but this makes a big difference. If you have to stretch it to reach your goal <laughs> or your puzzle piece, then that's what you got to do. Okay? But trust me, see, like that part is too long, but I need a part here. A piece here okay then I made a hole watch this see it's coming together in a weird way it looks weird but once I finish it's gonna look like a pie crust but when we finish this we will bake this off for just a couple minutes I had the oven preheating on 350 because you don't want to put the meat, the cheese, and all that in this crust, and it's raw. It will be soggy at the bottom, you know? So you want to cook it to build that crust at the bottom to be able to hold the, um, the meat and cheese, okay? Okay, guys, I'll be back. Okay, you guys, I told you, you can do it. With a little effort, you can make crushed rolls into a pie crust. I did it. Okay. We're going to take a fork and we want to poke some holes. And that's so the inside won't rise while it's in the oven. So, poke a few holes. And then we're going to put this in the oven for a couple minutes. I'll tell you when I come back how many minutes I had this in the oven for. Okay, guys. I'm back. We're um, waiting for the pie crust in the oven. So I went ahead and put the season, the taco season pack into the ground beef. And I'm still chopping this up. I'm it pretty fine. So we still have a couple more minutes left on the ground beef okay so the ground beef is pretty much done um i didn't start with any oil in this pan when i started the ground beef it was enough in the uh, ground beef just to saute this off and plus i didn't want to have a lot of moisture in the um you know the pie crust so i wanted it pretty see that i wanted it pretty fairly dry but enough moisture so the ground beef wouldn't be dry when you put into the taco pot. And I'm also making, what's that, manwich for the kids. But I'm not gonna do a video on that because everybody know how to make manwich. I hope you do. Be right. Okay, the crust is out of the oven. It actually took roughly around five minutes and it's still puffed up in the middle something that's okay because now it's time to add the ground beef okay and then once you add the ground beef to the center or to the pie crust it's going to um or uh, um it's going to you know the weight of it is going to press down on the pie crust okay guys i'll return when this is all done Okay, you guys, now we have the ground beef into the pie. Now it's looking 
My light is crazy over here. Maybe that will help. Okay, now we have the ground beef into the pie. Now it's starting to look good, okay? The crust isn't even, but eh, it will work. Now we're gonna add the sour cream. This is a um, eight ounce sour cream. And I use about half of it. A little more than half. A little more than half. And then you sent me just one too. You know, coat the top of the. Now, if you do not want to use sour cream, you do not have to use sour cream. Um, the first couple pies, um, taco pies I did, I did not use the sour cream, and it's still good. Just use the the cheese, and then finish it off with some cilantro. If you want more sour cream than that, okay. If you want more sour cream, add more. If you want more meat, no, don't add more. I tried to do a double uh, taco pie before, and it was just too much. So one pound of ground beef for one pie is perfect. Now you want to top it with a lot, a lot, a lot of cheese. You want to cover all the meat with cheese. And this smells so good. It smells like I'm making tacos. Smell like Taco Tuesday. Now, I sometimes use this whole bag because my my family loves cheese, but sometimes I just think they just overdo it. I would not eat any of this, so I would just get the rave reviews tonight. Oh, mama was so good. Oh, mama was so good. Okay. And that looks good. Doing it. And we want to finish it with a sprinkle of cilantro, dried cilantro. You can use um, you can use fresh if you have fresh, but I didn't have any. But I like to dry it better, like dry it partially. Just sprinkle some on top. Okay. Uh oh. And look at that. That taco pie is ready for the oven. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna put this in the oven and I will be right back. Okay, you guys, the taco pie is done. Let me tell you guys, it's cold now. I had to run, <laughs> run to the grocery store, so I took it out. So it's cold, it's at room temperature now. But you guys, try this recipe. You will not be disappointed at all and also do not forget to like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video thank you bye bye